So, Chris Broom has had an adverse test, in-competition test during the Vuelta. It's come out like two days ago. The BBC Sports website devoting more time to Chris Broom than any other sport right now. He had twice the allocated amount of butamol in his system for asthma. 2,000 milliliters, rather than 1,000 per whatever liters of blood or whatever it, how they ever work it out. He had double the allowed amount, basically, simple terms. He claims he's done nothing wrong, he's got nothing to hide, he welcomes the test. Well, if you've got nothing to hide, you're all squeak clean, why have you got double medication in your system? And it comes at a time when cycling is in the gutter again. British cycling is a bit of a, bit of a hoo-ha, there's a lot of scandal. Team Sky being spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Lo and behold, Team Sky rider in the news. I'm sceptical about the whole thing. I'm very cynical about the whole thing, and I really shouldn't be. I try to be as neutral as possible on this channel, but this one is just glaringly obvious that there's a bit more to do this. Um, any other rider probably gets hung out to dry. The UCI, and this is Tony Martin's word, a fellow cyclist, and he is not happy. He is furious. And rightly so. Rightly so. I must make reference to Chris Room's history. When he was at Barlow World, he was nowhere. He was an average person rider. He was a support rider for the other guys at Barlow World. Barlow World had loads of riders done for. You guessed it. Doping. They were involved in a doping scandal. The team ceased to exist. I'm going to say on that one. It's in the public domain. It is out there. So, yeah. It gives an adverse reading in our test, in competition, you see I don't follow up. They don't say, hang on a second, let's have a second one please. Okay, you've got double again. Right, you're done. No. As soon as they find out about that test, his medication levels go back to normal. It's been released. He had no further adverse tests. It's a little bit too coincidental. I'm just sorry. I'm a bit cynical, but I have little faith in the UC... Oh, what the U see, the computer goes off now taking so long to get this video done. I have little faith in the UCI testing policy, the anti-doping policies, um, I have little faith in cycling, policing itself, because it can't. Um, so many riders have been done for doping, it's, it's just embarrassing. Um, team principles, the team principles of Astana, doped. Um, Constable's been banned twice, doping. Still managed to win a Tour de France, was banned after it got oh, just too much. It's reached a point now where I have little, and, and, and Froome's claiming he hasn't broken rules, he's got nothing to hide. I'm sorry, this has reached a point now where I just don't believe what's coming out of Team Sky and Froome. And I try not to be cynical, and I try not to be so, I try to be balanced, and it's very hard to stay balanced. It's very hard when the evidence is so damning. It is. And the sport is, is, is damaged yet further. Any other rider, they get hung out to dry. Made an example of He's the UCI's poster boy. They can't afford to lose the revenue he makes from his image. The sport are sucking up to him. Like they did the last Armstrong, they let him go over so much, and his whole team, until someone blew the whistle. And then all the cars came crashing down. I can see some parallels here. I don't want to, but I can. And the 2012 legacy that Wiggins and Froome, especially in Cycling and Chris Hoy, built it's been dismantled bit by bit. The only one who's stake, you know, pure and has had no questions here of his integrity is Chris Sir Chris Hoy. And it shouldn't be that way. Because that was a great Olympics for British sport in general and it's now been slowly dismantled bit by bit with all these allegations and, and revelations about how the various governing bodies are not fair, not right, cheating, bullying, harassment, sex class, you name it. It's a mess. Funding problems, it's a mess. The 25 legacy is being dismantled. This is part of it. That's my view on it. He, he, he had an adverse reading, which is basically a fail. If that's any other drug, that's a fail. That's a bad. It's a legal drug, but he was twice the legal limit for his sport, what is allowed. Because it has performance enhancing properties. So the one has performance enhancing properties. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. I know this is not my most positive video, but this needs to be talked about because cycling needs to seriously grow up, clean up, get with the programme because other sports have 
become more transparent. I'm banning sports on for longer for failed tests. I'm taking a tougher line. This has got to stop. This is embarrassing the sport, the fans, the teams, everything. It's just the whole thing is an embarrassment. It's cringeable. This day and age is an absolute disgrace with what we're doing against the Russians. Banning them from Olympic competition, international competitions. It's getting political there now. This is a joke. Nothing is being done. It's farce. That's the UCI. That's the governing body. It's farce. The governing body is a farce. The athlete in question is the poster boy for the sport. Farce. They're so um, whoever is in, you know, yeah, just scared to do anything. Even if Room has to give more tests, they are scared. He is the new Lance Armstrong. He's the poster boy of the sport. He's a multiple back back but Tour de France winner. He is untouchable. And he may be clean, but there's too many coincidences here. It's getting harder and harder to believe. Daily. That's my view on it. And I'm trying to be impartial, but that's my view. It's getting harder and harder to believe that Sagan. Well, Sagan, I think he's reasonably clean. He's just he had that incident, but he and he got thrown out the tool when Cavendish went down. And I felt he and even Cavendish said, I think he's been harshly treated. Thrown out. UCI takes out one. Doesn't take out the other. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, place your comments below. People are going to disagree with me on this, and I, I welcome that. It's just getting harder and harder to believe. And for him, Team Sky, you British cycling, UCI, in fact, all of them. And and Tony Martin is right to be livid. Another rider gets hung out dry. Simple. They've got a poster boy here. So, is that why they're not doing it, taking it as seriously as another rider? Possibly. Has Chris Room actually broke the rules? A little bit. Is it a doping violation? No. Is it a TUE violation? Yes. Simple. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Thanks for watching. I'll have some more videos for you soon.